Today, we learn about Selector. I told you how we write the basic sentence of Jawali. There I told you that with the dollar we have written this in blue text, we call it the Selector and this side of the dot. I mean that in the right side we call it Method, which is our Selector. It is basically written to target the dong of HTML or given as up method now in this video tutorial, up which this is the selector part. We are going to learn it in detail, which is our selector part. Basically, we put CSS selectors in it. So the basic selectors are ID class and tag if you have any HTML. If you want to target the LK element with ID, then what will you write for it? Because you're choosing a selector and inside that inverted course, you're going to pass the name of the ID with the up hash and so on if you want to target an element from a class to a dip or a paragraph to something. If yes, then you will write something like this here. Put a dollar and put a dot inside the inverted course and give the name of the class. Then for this, you will put a dollar here and give the name of the tag like that. In the example, let me show you if you want to target all paragraphs. For that, you would take the P tag inside. These were our basic selectors. Now I'm going to show you the advanced selectors that we have. So within the advanced selectors, we first have a star. What does a star mean? As many HTML tags as are written within a page if targeting them all. If you want and want to do anything like do their CSS or want to click their HTML up, then you will write in star after that we have, here comes a parent and child selector as you have written here that you have to target all the LIs inside the UL. Then if you want to target multiple classes, then you have to select some of them. You can write in the way that we have taken the name of the first class. The name of the class of AB Cup can be anything. I have not given two examples here. 2050. After that, if you want to target multiple dashes at once and want to CSS them or want to do anything, then for that you can take such tech name and in the middle you hear comma sign like I want to do something by targeting all the headings and all the paragraph tags at the same time. If I want to do CSS, then I can do it like this. Then see, as we have written here first, we have put pseudo class, which means call. And after that, we have written first, which means in the whole page, which is the most. First is the first paragraph to target it. You can replace P with another tag. After that, it's the exact opposite. Last means the last paragraph in our entire page to target. Took similarly, we have an eon and an add to target as many li eons as possible, and vice versa as many add numbers as we have to target them. This is not all that these advanced selectors are. And how to use simple selectors inside JQRE. See here, here we have created a basic HTML document in which we practice our advanced selectors. So look here, here we have a heading at the top. Here is a do. Inside it is a heading and a paragraph. And below, and we have put a class on it called test. And below we have an in-order list here. As I have put a list on it and there are many LA taxes in it, and we have put a test work class on two LA taxes, we are starting our practical here. So for that I am here. At the bottom, I'm going to go into Body Tech, and first I'm going to edit my jQuery file. So you see, for that, I'm going to get the script here, and I'm going to go into it, and I'm going to select the source name attribute. Of his, I include the file inside, so we have a GS folder here. Inside it, there is a jQuery. Let's start the code. So see here, first I target the ID, which means this is the list. Look at the above list. So what do I do to target it first here? But your basic Joe, I will write the code of jQuery document dot ready them. This is not all that these advanced selectors are. So look here, firstly, I target the ID, which means this is the list. Look at the list above, so what I'm going to do to target it. First, I'm going to put my basic G Cory code here. Yes, I will write it, document, dot. Ready, and inside it, I create a function here. The function has no name, and here I do it. Now, this is our basic code. 
which means that when the document is ready, then this function will be. And inside of that, we start to quote our G quarry here. So look like I want to target the ID of the list name, which is our in order list. So what will I do for that? I will take it here. I'll take the dollar and then the quotes inside the round presses. You can also take the double quotes or the single code. So look, I'm going to target the ID here. So for that, I'm going to take the hash and here. But I, what do I want to do? Now I want to target the list here and do its CSS here. So here I will use method CSS. So here, first I have two parameters. The first one is the name of the property. Then see its value. If I want to use jacked CSS, here first I take the name of the property. Look inside the course. I took the name of the property, color, and put a comma here and give the second parameter. Will its value, and I have given the value read, this is the method we have used here. There are other methods inside CSS G Core. Let's see how you can apply simple CSS, because here I'm just showing you how we choose the selectors. So see, I've saved the file here and see what all this means. Our unorderly C has been read, all the meters inside it. You are looking up. If I want to put a border in it, I will write here border, and in place of red, I will put two pixels here. So you see how we target the ID? Now what do I do? I say list. I save the file again, here, now. Look at all the LED tags that were coming inside. It got a border. So you, I saw how we use this advanced lector. Now I say that wherever the class name test is running, the border should be two pixel red color. So see what I will do for it here. I will take the dot test, and I have saved the file here and see this. Above is what we were afraid of before. I will show you. This was your first test. The one who is two, and the other one is also having a class. The border of both of them is also ready. You are watching how we targeted and changed the color of their border. I will tell you. How can we, if we put a star here, the color we have on all the tags, whatever CSS we have put here, will be implemented. So see, I have saved the file here. So see here first, the body tag also got a border. Then after that, all the tags that were coming on the heading and do fully all got a border. So this was our advanced selectors. Now I will show you. Yes, I want our first LI to be the very first LI. If I want to target it, here I can do it in two ways. first within each UL. Similarly, I can also use last. See what I have done here. If I want to target one of the particles, then for that, I will use a method called equation here, which is part of our CSS. So see what I said inside the UL. After that, I wrote EQ here. EQ means equation. And inside it, as I want to target, the second one, I saved the file here. So see here, 
The third one is this. The target is showing because it's taking a zero to make our orange and a one over here. So we've got two gill grips. So this is the third number. Targeted the first one, and if I set the four here, then I save the file and see it targets the fourth one. So I can target any equation here. There are other methods similar to two equations. One is GTGT, which means greater religion. And I have written it here as two, which means target all the ones that come before two. I saved the file and see it was on zero, one to two grips. After grips, it targeted all of them. If I change here to one and I saved the file. If you saved it, look at it. It targeted everyone. And in the same way, we have the exact opposite of what we call LTLT, which means Lord Din. The first one is to target all of them. So look here. Here at Lord Din, we had orange on zero, banana on two. We had crepe and apple on three. He told everyone targeted. You see how we can choose separate selectors here. So if you want to look deeper into that, Thanks watching my video.
subscribe, like, and comment.